Today is Tuesday, January 31st, 2017, and I have some sad news to report to you today, but also some very strange news. This relates to the Boy Scouts of America who have now died. Unfortunately, it's been a long run since the, what, the 19 teens, I think 1913 to 2017. That has been their existence, and now they have all but died. Now, the reason why I say this is because of a decision that they made today to allow transgender boys into the Boy Scouts, right? Now, just to be very clear, to be crystal clear, this means girls, children that were born women, born female, are now going to be admitted into the Boy Scouts. Now, this comes on the heels of a lawsuit that was filed by a mother of an eight-year-old boy named Joe in New Jersey that's kind of led to a series of events that has forced the CEO to come out and give a statement. Now, before I get into my teardown of it, before I get into my actual opinion, what I want to do right now is show you a clip from NBC News in which they show the man, the uh, I guess it's the CEO of Boy Scouts of America, they show him talking, they show this so-called girl and this person's mother, and you kind of see what's going on you get a little bit of a better picture as to what I'm talking about. So after we play that, we'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. So without further ado, go ahead and roll it. Understanding of the next four years. If it's Sunday, you better believe it's Meet the Press. It's a rite of passage for millions of boys. The Boy Scouts of America, an organization rooted in honor and tradition since 1910. I hope I get a lot of badges, earn a lot of stuff, I hope I do fun activities, you know, eat s'mores, go camping. Eight-year-old Joe Maldonado will now get that chance as a Boy Scout. Born in 2008, as Jody, Joe self-identified as a boy two years ago. His mom, Christy, enrolled him in Cub Scouts last year. Joe was forced out a month later after leaders found out he was born a girl. He didn't understand why he got kicked out. Christy says the Boy Scouts only changed their minds after she filed this lawsuit. Late Monday, the Boy Scouts of America released a video statement saying their policy on transgenders has changed. After weeks of significant conversations at all levels of our organization, we realized that referring to birth certificates as the reference point is no longer sufficient. This historic change comes two years after the Boy Scouts lifted its ban on gay adults serving as scout leaders and four years after allowing gay youths to participate. Dan Sheneman, NBC News. All right, so you see what's going on there. You see what happened. You see what we're dealing with right now. You see the actual dilemma that we have on our hands. Now, this is really unfortunate. This is really unfortunate. You know, the Boy Scouts of America and the Girl Scouts of America, which I'll talk about a little bit later, but the Boy Scouts specifically, this has been the pillar of American culture for a hundred years. You know, this is something that it's kind of like a rite of passage for boys to understand a little bit more about nature, a little bit more about being a boy. And then these skills can take them on into adulthood as men. They can bring a lot of these skills, a lot of these survival skills, how to craft things, how to be good with their hands, how to understand the world around them and not be so reliant upon technology and stuff like that. Right. How to, you know, try to do things, how to succeed, how to create a lot of those things are found within the Boy Scouts and also a sense of brotherhood, a sense of camaraderie. Right. And a sense of pride in your nation as well. Those are the things that can be found within the Boy Scouts. Now, if you are a Boy Scout or you have any children that are Boy Scouts right now, I would love to hear from you as far as what you think the Boy Scouts are all about and how they have helped you and how they help your children currently. And I also want to hear from you. What do you think about this new decision? I mean, this is really crazy. You got transgender boys coming in to be Boy Scouts. Now, it was bad enough. They said that you're going to have homosexual Boy Scout leaders. I don't have anything against anybody that's gay, transgender or whatever. I do think that if you have an eight year old that says that they are a different gender, something is going on with the parents. I don't think an eight year old understands really anything about that. When I was eight years old, I was just worried about going to school, playing with my toys and reading my books. I didn't care. I didn't even think about, I didn't even think about gender. It, you know what I'm saying? Like as far as I didn't think about my gender like that. 
I knew, you know, but girls were girls and I like girls, but I didn't think about myself in the in a specific way as far as gender is concerned. I think that there's some abuse going on. I don't mean anything physical or sexual from this so-called mother. I'm talking about mental. The way this person, the way this little boy was talking, pardon me. I don't, I don't I'm not even really going to say the pronouns. I don't want to get anybody triggered and I don't want to trigger myself, but I digress. The way this child was speaking sounds like something that an adult had coached them to say. And at a certain point, we got to start looking at that. We can't just say, oh, they're transgender. Let's not, you know, be critical at all. Let's not be using our brain to think about maybe something is going on here that's not right. You have to kind of look at these things and think, well, maybe something's going on there and that's not correct. I think that's what's happening. But that whole situation is really crazy. But I definitely want to get your viewpoint on that. If you have somebody in the scouts, if you were a scout or if you're not a scout, if you're just an average person, it's just kind of like observing what's going on. And also for the girls, what does this mean for the Girl Scouts? Because really, this has been the precedent that's been set right now. The precedent has been set. So now what about the Girl Scouts? If you will allow a girl to dress as a boy and become a Boy Scout, now does the same thing apply for the Girl Scouts? You see, are you going to have transgender girls in the Girl Scouts? I mean, logically, that would make sense if you're going to do it for one, then the other. Then if you're going to have that going on, then why even have a Boy Scouts or a Girl Scouts? You see, it's a slippery slope. You, you see, you started with the, the gay scout leaders. So now that opens the door to, you know, differing genders. So now you got that going on. Now, the next thing is going to be the Girl Scouts get infiltrated. Now, there will be no more Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. That's why I say R.I.P., Rest in peace, the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, because this is the the first uh, the 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 flaming arrow that has been cast into the actual organization, and it's going to be a thousand more to come after that. It's going to be a bunch of more lawsuits. It's going to be a bunch of more cases. It's going to be a lot more people that go on TV and tell their sob story about how they were born on the wrong body, they non-binary X, Y, and Z. And at a certain point, we got to have things that are exclusive to certain. You know, agendas in society. You're not going to have women join the NBA. You know, that would be unfair to the women because they would not be able to compete. Even if they could compete in the NBA, it definitely wouldn't be fair the other way around. We're talking about men joining the WNBA because the, the physical characteristics are so much different. No, but no, nobody would ever say, hey, let's have a woman join the NBA or vice versa. Nobody would ever say that. Nobody would say that that's fair. Everybody knows physically men and women are different. So that will be unfair from the beginning. Right. So I just I just can't really put my finger on it as far as how I feel about it. But I just I say I'm sad. It's really unfortunate. It's really sad. You know, like, like I said before, I don't have anything against transgender people or whatever. But I think whatever you were born as, that's where you need to be at. If you want to be in an organization that is defined upon gender. See, the, what's going to end up happening is when you just allow people that were born as girls to join a group that is for boys, there will be no more boys group because the next line of logical reasoning would be to abolish the whole gender aspect of it and just make it inclusive to everybody. Now, I just want to know who's going to sell the Girl Scout cookies. That's all I want. to. I mean, is it going to be Miss Doubtfire? Is it going to be the female version of Peter Pan? What's going on? I don't know. This is very confusing times, but I don't I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully this does not signal the end. But I unfortunately think that it does signal the end for the Boy Scouts of America and the Girl Scouts of America. So what do you think? I've already asked you earlier what you think, but I just kind of want to get your viewpoint as I've finished my assertion here. How do you feel about this? What do you think is going to happen in the future? What do you think? will be the effect on other organizations I didn't mention. Will it impact, uh, you know, any kind of group that has boys or girls in it? You know, boys basketball when kids are small, girls basketball, you know, uh, sports, locker room, stuff like that. Things like that have been kind of floating around for a while. And now I've been talking about it. And certain people try to tell me, are you just, you know, you're, you're reaching too far, you're thinking too deep into it. But it's like, no, no, you have to understand people that are behind the scenes that want to have certain things go their way shadowy figures they think long term they think years and years and years on the line and they know they can't just do it all at once it's not an instant gratification for them 
We live in a society as I close. We live in a society where everything is right now. I want it right now, right away. Microwave generation. But there are still people out there that understand the long game and respect the long game. See, you thinking about everything right now. Not you, but many people are thinking about everything being right now. But they don't understand that things are happening behind the scenes that have been going on for a very long time that have been planned out and will be executed in time. So it has to be stopped somewhere and at some point. So their plan that has been executed over the past 50 years cannot come to fruition. So that's pretty much all I got. Whatever your comments are, let me know in the comments below. That's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.